It was amongst those people, those young people who died. Some of them are your students. So some of you will be going back to see an empty desk that there was once a student who sat on that particular desk. But all of you collectively will be going back to your schools where the children that you teach are going to realize that their full potential is in the usage of their brains and that they can be able to, be, to try and can be able to make the changes. And the question that we need to ask ourselves is what are the lessons that we need to be able to learn? I don't know what, what gen I am, but I definitely know I'm not a Gen Z, I'm not a millennial. Uh, whatever it is that I am, I am a student of the Gen Zs. I personally am a student of the Gen Zs. What are the lessons? Are we going to be able to look at this whole charad and look at it that it is nothing else as a statistical reminder that so and so was here, that they're no longer here, so and so was a student and is no longer a student? What is it that we are going to be able? Because Kenya is definitely not the same anymore. The Kenya of today is not the Kenya of yesterday. The students of today are not the students of yesterday. Those that you, 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 you feel or think that you're going to be able to teach, one thing has actually come out true. They also have the capacity to teach you. And I believe if there's one lesson, if there's one lesson that every single one needs to be able to learn, well, probably a couple of lessons. One of them is accountability. The young generation want to be able to know lessons that, that we as leaders and every single one of us as a leader in their respective right, what is the level of accountability that we can be able to provide? And this is the disconnect that has been there between us and the younger generation. They feel and they actually feel maligned. They feel disappointed. They cannot be able to see what it is that has been put into place. And another lesson, and that is the lesson that tribalism is not the major factor in this country. Purpose is the major factor in this country.